Hi, with Guardian Safe and Lock here again. Um, we're going to, today, we're going to rekey a Schlage Everest cylinder. This is a key and knob cylinder, standard key and knob cylinder. It has the little Everest logo on the front. That's how you know it's a Schlage Everest with that little triangle like a logo. And if you look on the bottom of a cylinder, uh, one of these cylinders, you'll see it has that little bottom finger pin right there. See that? So let me show you two real quick. When I stick the key in, it has a sidebar here. This interacts with it, which allows that bottom finger pin to pull up. And you see how it reacts right there? If that's not pulled up, then it won't turn. So it has to be cut on one of these uh, C123, or they even have it called S123. Some of them call it S123, some call it C123, uh, Schlage Everest Keyway. There's some other Everest keyways that are common. Um, there's some restricted ones, uh, like in our previous video we've done our restricted ones. But this one here, a C123 or S123 is basically the same thing. Um, they are a common one that you can find in any locksmith shops, not restricted. Same goes for, I believe it's a, a D145, or let me see what other one is right here. There's another one that's really common. It is. Yes, it's the C145. So the C145 and the C123 are the two common Schlage Everest keys that any locksmith should have. It's not restricted. It gives you a little extra security, though, because the blank's a lot harder to find. So it's a lot harder for people or employees to go get copies of your keys made. All right, so first things first, just like rekeying any other key and knob cylinder, I need to take the uh, tailpiece off the back. So I'm going to show you right here. This is, if it was going in a lever, you want it to be straight up and down. If it was going into a knob, you want it to go sideways. So this one is, we'll say it's going in a lever. So I'm going to take this tailpiece off by pushing down this little pin here and just spinning the back of it off until it, there you go. And then I'm going to set that aside and then the pin and then the spring that holds that pin it won't come out, but it's all right. It'll stay in there. So. I'm going to put the working key inside the cylinder, turn the key, put the follower through, and I'll let you look at it here real quick. So everything's flush, and then if you hold it, turn it over, it's holding that pin in. So when I go to empty out the pins and re-key it, I'm going to hold, put my finger in the bottom here so that pin doesn't shoot out. So I dump out all the pins. When we come out, I'll just take one of the keys and kind of launch it out. There you go. Okay. So now, if you look on the bottom here, if I let my finger go off this, this thing wants to wants to fall out, right? Because what it is is, I'm gonna take it out here for you and show you. It's basically this little finger pin right there, and that little spring right there. So this little spring here goes in that hole. And then you have the finger pin, which is hollow on the back side. That's where the spring goes. So I'm just going to put that back in place. Get it in there. There we go. Okay, and just kind of hold, hold that lightly in place as I rekey it. Okay, so this key here, it just keys just like your standard SC1 or SC4 key. Uh, this one here has six cuts, so it'd be like an SC4 key, but it's on a. Uh, S123 or C123 key. Um, so I'm just going to rekey this. I don't have the code, so I'm just going to do it kind of by eyeball here. So the first cut's a one, looks like. Oh, I have the wrong pin. Let's see here. There we go. Make sure that goes down flush. It's sitting a little bit below the shear line, so it might be a stuck there we go so that's a three still holding the finger pin every time I move my key out so it looks like the next one's a four then a three again so I'm gonna put a four pin in still this one. There we go. And as you're going you want to make sure these remain Flush, just like any other cylinder that you're rekeying. Flush, okay. 
And then after that, this next one's a little deeper. Okay. That was a seven. And then it looks like possibly either a, looks like a five, six. Sometimes these pins get mixed up too. Okay, last one. Alright, so all six pins are nice and flush, right? And then on top of it, it's holding in the finger pin. Now, if all the cuts match, but it didn't have this sidebar mill cut out of it, then it still wouldn't turn because that bottom, bottom pin, finger pin in the back, wouldn't lift up out of the way. So just reassemble it like a standard cylinder, and then you're good to go. And then we're going to put this back on here, put the little spring-loaded pin back in there. And then I'm going to place this, I like to put it, push down on top of it with the flat part, spin it all the way until I get it almost on, and then just turn the tailpiece until it pops back into spot, into the hole that you need. So that's how you rekey a... Schlage Everest uh, cylinder. Like I said, it's not a restricted keyway. It's just a little extra security, harder to get key. Um, also, hard, way harder to pick too because you have to get that pin lifted up. Even if you get it picked over, you still have to get that last pin, finger pin, up and out of the way uh, in order to get the cylinder to turn over. Uh, we're going to continue to pump out videos. Uh, we got a little bit behind uh, because of the coronavirus, but we're going to continue to put out content and uh, stay tuned for more content. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like the video, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. Uh, we appreciate the support.